Here's Dr. Rackett. Let's use intermediate student with lambda. We'll talk later about what that means. We need some graphics tools. Here's how we get them. We require them, in fact. F5 reads in those tools so we can use them, and Control-D gives us a bit more real estate to tinker with. Let's get some graphics. Graphics are represented on computers as rectangular arrays of glowing pixels, colored dots. There's a graphic. Let's get some more. This graphic represents giraffes. I can copy it and paste it into my programming environment. I'll copy and paste one more, but I bet you've already got the idea. We can manipulate these representations of graphics. For example, I can flip the array left to right. Looks like that. I can ask how many dots wide it is. I can ask how many dots tall it is. There's some connecting theme about these three graphics, dolphins, bicycles, and giraffes. Here's what I have in mind. I can make a one-to-one -one correspondence with little tally marks. Five of them. On the bicycles, I can also do a one-to-one -one correspondence with tallies on the giraffe. Also five. I'll do them slantwise on the dolphins, just to show that I'm not cheating. There are five dolphins. So the value I want to represent on the computer is five, and here's how I represent it. Not too surprising with the numeral five. I can represent a fraction five-thirds, one point repeating six, I can represent it other ways too. Right click and I can do it as a mixed fraction or as an improper fraction or back again as a decimal. Not so easy to exactly represent the square root of five thirds. That hash i says this is an inexact, just an approximation and I can't represent it other ways. I can represent some pretty big numbers or at least ratios of some pretty big numbers. And I also have the choice of viewing those as mixed fractions or improper fractions. Something else we represent on computer are strings of characters. The number of characters in the string called its length. Notice the double quote character at either end of the string. We can represent truth and falsity, and we can switch between them. 